Recent history against the Chiefs, even in the Sunday after the game. Uh, what's it been like to go back and be looking at them? I'm sure you're looking at the Super Bowl. Um, it's definitely a little emotional, but uh, at this point, it's just a game. Um, so we're just looking at the tape, trying to learn from it. Um, a lot of similarities from last year. A few new guys, but uh, really good defense and uh, offense that obviously has 15 back there. So um, always dangerous. You said it's a little emotional. Do you try to like tap into those emotions, or do you kind of want to just put the distractions to the side and treat it like another football game? Yeah, the latter. What makes Mahomes a cut above the rest if you look at him that way? Um, I think his, his arm strength. Uh, he's able to get the ball far distances really fast, so it, you don't need that much uh, separation. Um, and then his way he creates plays, he likes to pump fake people and make a miss and run for first downs when you need them. Um, yeah, his running ability is kind of underrated. Uh, he's stout, so he's tough to bring down. Um, and he makes good decisions. So, so how does a defensive performance like last week kind of fuel you guys going into a game like this and then coming home to do that? It's huge, yeah. Last week we talked about being a must win and we got it done. Um, but we have to play like that every week. Uh, it's not a, a one-off, so... We're excited to be back home for a couple weeks and uh, need to stack another one. Nick, how do you manage your own expectations when you have 14 pressures but you're not quite getting the sack numbers that you'd like to get? Um, I think just staying the course and continuing to get better, which I think I've done. Um, and then hopefully that day comes where, where the stats come. But uh, I think I affected the game a good amount last week. So... Um, that's, that's good for the team. Nick, I'm sure losing the Super Bowl, there are plenty of plays you think about. But, you know, damn, if only you know, we'd done better there. But when it comes to the fourth and one on Mahomes' run in overtime, is that one particularly, I mean, I know it's fourth and one, so it's no guarantee you're going to stop him, but is that one particularly, is that one to hold the ball. difficult to get over? Yeah, no, that was tough, especially because we have calls that could negate that. Mm -hmm. Um and we just didn't really, like they ran in the zone read a few times and we just didn't um, find an answer to it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I definitely thought he was gonna hold it or keep it, but uh, I gotta do my job, especially in a big moment like that. You can't go out of your job. Um, but um, we definitely have a plan for the zone read this time, so. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Because you, you crashed, but that, that is your job, right? That was, yeah. Okay. But then you, like mid-play, you're kind of like... Yeah. You did a shrug, but not a celebratory shrug. <laughs> yeah. Can you yeah. even hint at what should have happened? Um, I I mean, there's a couple of variables. I think the, the tight end came across, so that changes some things for the guys behind me. Um, so I honestly don't know whose it is, but I just... Tried to, yeah. tried to make it decisive for really the guys. Yeah. Is the idea to a lot from that game or just watching in terms of how you try to attack them this time around from your experiences? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like any game that you've played a team before, you watch the tape and learn from it. Does this, does this offensive line notoriously get kind of less, I guess, less in trouble for holding, or is it just depending on the crew? Uh, last that... year, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Last year, they had two of the top penalized guys in the league um, uh, but uh doesn't look too bad this year but we'll see are there more crews are there refereeing crews that kind of let it go more than others <laughs> i mean um it seems different every week so we'll see do you count your steps throughout the day is that why you use a scooter uh that's kind of how it started i don't count them okay. but i just takes a little off the legs, why not? It's a lot of walking from building to building. <laughs> Nick, what does it do for your team, having Ricky Pierce all back, having him break down? Good morale boost, yeah. It's good to have him, um, and I'm excited to watch him play. Yep. Thanks, Nick.